Hello there guys and welcome back to our car modeling tutorial and in this episode we are going to go around the front of the car so um, I think we'll run around the bumper here um, I don't know how far up we'll get but hopefully we'll get the main general gist general layout of what we have here um, which will then allow us to um, start moving up the, the bonnet of the car now um, I said when we started in the first episode that I thought that this would be quite a good starting point for beginners. Um, I'm starting to really regret that a little bit because it is going to be quite complex around this area so hopefully we'll be able to get through that okay. Um, we are missing a line out of this blueprints here, uh, quite a key body line so hopefully we'll be able to, to source that before we get to that point. Um, that shouldn't be too much of an issue for the most part. Um, so moving on to the front then around this area here. Uh, we finished off with some fairly basic geometry. Now what we're going to be doing um, is we're going to be doing some massive edits to what we already have. Uh, we're also going to be adding um, some new key geometry inside. Um, so I think around here we're going to need to add a little bit more information. We're going to need to do a little bit more work here and there. Um, so let's make a start then. We'll grab um, our front section here. I think what we're going to do first is we're going to work our way around this portion here. Um, we can then extrude up and once we've extruded up we're going to need to just tidy up and try and tie this all in a little bit better make it all a little bit cleaner um, as we go inside there so it'll start to look messy first if it does don't worry about it too much because um, hopefully by the end of the episode we'll have it all nailed and we'll have a rough shape for for this front end so let's jump in and um, if you watched our um, well my Jaguar tutorial I'm going to do a very similar kind of um, method here um, I'm actually going to, if I can grab my um, reference here, I'm actually going to start with this edge around here. Um, so in order to do so, we are going to grab um, our edge. We're going to select the edge here. I'm going to hit Control E. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull it out ever so slightly. And then in our front view here, I'm going to do the same. We're going to make a thin little ledge that's going to run all the way around there. Now obviously we've got some curvature here, um, so we could add that in just now, just to kind of help us um, go around there. So I'm going to go Mesh Tools, I'm going to Insert Edge Loop, I'm going to hit the little square here um, so that we can edit this. I'm going to go Multiple Edge Loops and I'm going to have my Edge Loops of two just now. Um, what this will do is it means it will drop them in nice and uniform inside there for us. So we can see now I've got those. Now before we do anything, we want to make sure we're maintaining some form of curvature here. So I'm going to grab um, the vertices that we've added. And I'm just going to pull them in the way. So we've got a nice curve going down there. And then we're going to go into our front here. And I'm going to do the same, pulling them out this way. So make sure we're just maintaining that curve. We don't want to add areas in and then just leave them as they are. We want to make sure that we're maintaining what we have as well. What this will allow us to do is in the front here, it's going to allow us to pull these into a slightly better position for us, um, which is going to allow us to start to create the curve that we have here. Um, what we also want to do is uh, do our curvature in the side here as well. Um, don't worry too much if it's looking angled, because obviously when we come to smooth this, um, this curve will come here a little bit nicer. Um, we'll start with the bottom. So we're going to jump in. We can see this is a little bit low, so our blueprints aren't 100% matching. So let's just pull this up just a little bit here. Yeah, something like that, find a nice middle ground. Um, I'm going to start with this vertices, and I'm going to pull this up here. And I want to make sure I'm maintaining that same kind of distance between there. I'm going to go to my edge. I'm going to grab this bottom edge, hit Control E, and we're going to pull this along here. Now, those who have followed along before, you all should know that what I like to do is at this point is I like to snap this into the center of the grid there. I can do that by using the move tool and holding down X. Um, what I actually want to do though, is I want to grab the verti uh, vertices individually, holding down X, snapping those, just to make sure that they're both um, fully in the center there. Uh, what we'll probably want to do as well is take these lower ones and just pull these out here, something like that. Now, with the center, I'm going to go into my top view, and I'm going to pull these roughly to where I think they probably will need to go, something like that. We might get a good idea, that's a bit lower actually, a good idea in our side view here, 
that's probably the best to look at for that. Um, that should run up nicely there. I'm going to just pull this up. Um, again, I want to make sure that we're maintaining that distance there nicely, which is good. Um, I'm going to grab these edges too. And I'm going to pull these up a little because we want to, again, try and follow this curve nicely. Um, so we don't necessarily want these to be straight. This one's fine straight. But here again, we're going to want this one to maybe move up and this one to move down so that we can start to, to kind of move along this section here as well. Um, so I'm going to grab the edge again, hit Control E. I'm going to do this on the world and I'm going to do this maybe twice. So I'm going to pull it along here. Um, let's rotate this around. Hit Control E again, pull this along here. Um, maybe go something like that. What I would say as well is when I when I do these car modeling tutorials is I, I've never modeled this car before. I haven't pre-done it. Um, the stage that I'm at right now in the video is is generally the stage that I'm at um, in real life as well. So um, it, it may be a case that I make a couple of mistakes as we go, but um, we will try and rectify everything obviously um, as we go through. So I'm going to pull this one to kind of match that curve and then we'll pull this one to match as well. And again, we want to double check everything in this view here. Um, we don't want to be making anything look a little bit weird like we have. These are obviously sticking way too far out. So we can use this opportunity here to pull those in. Uh, make sure you're double checking everything really as you go because you don't want to have caused an issue or a problem and then continue to model through and then it becomes a much bigger problem. So just make sure as you're going through as well that you're double checking everything, um, not only in your um, orthographic views here, but in your perspective as well. Okay, so um, what we'll do now is we'll grab this edge. I'm going to hit Control E and we'll drag this one. Just do the exact same. Um, I'm going to go for each individual vertex here and then holding X, I'll snap that into the center like so. Um, and then using this side view here, we're going to pull these out to roughly where we think that they should go. Um, I think I selected all of them. So let's just grab the end here. I think that's something like that should look good. Um, and I think we want those to roughly match in terms of their kind of orientation through there. So let's just do something like that. So that's that's looking good. Um, what we'll obviously do at some point is we will add more geometry on here and help smooth that out. But we don't want to worry about that too much just yet. We are going to continue to work our way down here. Now, um, we have a little bit of an awkward spot here because we... This is where our kind of bumper curves off and then goes up towards the, the kind of top section. Obviously, we want to maintain that the best we can. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to edit what we already have. We have roughly what we want. It's not quite um, in the right spot for us, so it's going to make it a little bit awkward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the multi-cut tool here. Uh, that's just on the poly modeling shop at the top. I am going to draw down here and I think what we'll do is we'll follow the kind of line of the over fender here as we go down so I'm just going to click and drag and add all of those points in inside there um, what I want to do as well is I've added those in so I'm going to grab them all really quick and I'm actually just going to pull them this way which is going to kind of give us the opportunity to add some curvature inside here at some point um, and then I'm just going to do the same here as well just so a little bit more dimension to it. I'm going to use the weld tool here. This is going to allow me to grab these vertices um, and snap them to wherever I want to. So I'm going to grab this, snap this down here, so that we have nice one line running through, which will allow us now to utilize this line a little bit better. So it's going to make us able to maybe bring this across and run down here. Now this is a triangle that's not good for us just now, so we will rectify that in a second. Um, but we just want to kind of make it so that we have geometry running uniformly down here, and then we're going to run uniformly across um, this section too. We'll fix this bit in a second. So looking at that geometry that we have there then, um, we're going to want to think about where this line is going to now run. So if we go into our side view, uh, we can see that this will probably be a nice support line to run through the center of this section here. So let's grab um, all of these points. So let's grab, maybe grab these for now. I'm going to hit Control E 
and I'm going to pull all of these up to about this point there. Maybe just pull them out ever so slightly. Um, that will allow me now to maybe bring this point in so that we can get that kind of angle that we have on there um, as well. So that's looking quite good. Um, I'm going to hit Control E and grab those same edges again. Um, again, on the world, and I'm going to pull these up um, until we get to this point here. And I'm just going to use the scale that's attached here, the little square, just to straighten those off um, and bring them up roughly to where they should go just now. And what we can see now is that we have a nice path where this edge can follow on through. So let's maybe lower this ever so slightly. Um, just bring this in here. Actually, what I'll do is I'm going to grab all these vertices. I'm going to grab the scale tool. Um, let's actually maybe let's grab the edge. Um, let me just check my scale tool. I'm just going to make sure that's on the world. Um, I'm just going to flatten this off so it's completely straight and then put it in a good position where it can meet over here quite nicely. Um, something like that should be fine. And again, I'm going to have a nice curve down this edge here too. And what we want to do is we want to maintain some verticality down here because as we can see, if we bring this in, that we do have kind of a defined curve at this point. Um, so that means that for that verticality, we, we want to make sure we've got defined edges going down there too. But what we'll probably do is it looks like it's around kind of like this orientation. So I'm going to grab these edges here and we're going to start to move these over a little bit and we'll do the same with the second point just to give it a little bit more space something like that which is looking good and now this is going to allow us to kind of bring this point here to this point here as well so um, let's before we do that actually let's maybe add a bit more geometry down here so I'm going to go mesh tools insert edge loop um, I think in I think two will be fine here as well. Um, so we'll grab two, and we'll drop them in there. And what these are going to allow us to do now, these are going to allow us to get some nice curvature into this portion. Um, so with those still selected after adding them, I'm just going to use the move tool. I'm going to pull these out here. I'll maybe go to the left slightly as well, something like that. Because um, that's just going to allow us to get again that extra little bit of curvature as we go around this portion here. Um, what we'll also do at this point is let's um, let's remove this face because what we'll actually do is we'll have this edge here if I pull that maybe a bit more in this direction and just make sure because I pulled it in one direction to get it in the other as well I'm gonna maybe pull these all a little bit straighter so they're somewhat in between um, the orientation of this line and this line because it's important to make sure that your geometry is going to run as smooth as possible so we'll, we'll do something like that um, and that will allow us now to bridge between these two so if we go to edit mesh and bridge and that will give us a nice square face in that section there which is looking good um, we're probably going to want to on this here is we're going to want to maybe bring that in this direction on our x-axis just to make sure that this line is flowing nicely down here let's just maintain that through there as well maybe a little pull on here too this is going to give us something like that um, let's see I'm just going to tidy up a little bit of these edges here we don't want quite the same angle um, on these as we have over there I don't think if I bring those through something like that um, and now what we're going to want to do is, is essentially join these together and in doing so we're going to need to add another edge loop. This time we're going to do one, but I'm not going to do multiple, I'm going to go up to the relative distance here. Um, and then I'm just going to drop one up here somewhere um, on there and what we can do is we can pull that out to this side as well. Maybe use our front view to get a good idea of where that should go. Okay, so that's looking good. And in our side view here, we can maybe just help again 
bring that a little bit nicer. I can maybe go a bit further over here. Again, it's just what you what you're going to be doing is pulling a lot of points over and over again. But what you want to do is try and just make sure that everything's moving and curving nicely in between. Um, that means now that we can kind of fill in the gap that we have here. So I'm going to grab these two edges, hit Control E. I'm going to pull these all the way up. Now again, we know that some vertices here are roughly in the right spot, so we're going to be able to target weld some stuff here. And I'm actually going to target weld this vertices up here and this one over here, which is going to give us obviously those in the roughly correct areas. And then I'm just going to use this section here just to kind of bridge that gap in between both horizontally and, and vertically as well. So let's just get that situated nicely. Something like that looks good for now. Again, everything is subject to change. Um, I'm going to grab the insert edge loop and we'll drop one in. I'm just focusing on the central here. Just try and make sure that's going to follow that nicely because again, we're going to just target weld. Um, these new points to the existing ones. So we can see now that we've got a quite nicely formed um, section inside here. One thing I do want to address again is I'm just going to make sure I'm pulling the points here so that you know our lines are quite nice and straight. Um, we do want to make sure we have a little bit more curve than we would ideally want and the reason we want to do that is because when we do smooth this out it will flatten the curves um, a little bit as well. So pull something out like that. Um, let's check our front view. Um, just make sure we're in a nice spot for this. Now, what we could do, I think that should, this one here especially, should line up fairly nicely. Um, we would have to move a bit further in the way there. Uh, let's just go for a little bit more organic kind of blend into that line, like so. Um, for this one, let's actually dial this back because we do have an extra line in there. So we'll maybe create a little bit more space in here, um, which will allow us then to extrude from this edge. Um, I'll bring this out. I'm going to weld again our vertices from here to here. And then our top one, we're just going to make sure that that's in the right spot up here. It's looking okay up there. And we can see again using our top view, it's starting to look like a little bit of a spider's web because of the x ray. But if we highlight, we can see that that one's sitting on the line, this one's on the line, and so is that one. So they're looking good just now. Um, this will allow us then maybe to take our side portion in. So what we'll maybe do is I think we can deal with this line a little bit later, but for now I'm actually going to bring it up here. Um, I think what we'll do is let's go for insert in two more edge loops again, nice evenly spaced at this point. Um, in my front view here, I'm going to want to make sure that these are curving nicely around this portion. So I'm going to grab my first one and pull it out here. And then the second batch for that second line, and pull these out as well. Something like that. So that's looking nice, curving around to that top portion there, which is good. Um, and now what we'll do is we'll maybe think about how this grill is going to sit. Uh, so we can see inside here that we've got this corner, which is going to be a little bit awkward for us. Um, we could. We could do what we originally thought and bring these all the way in. Something like that. And then this portion here we can use to kind of tail that off, make that a little bit smoother. Around here. I just want to make sure that we're not looking too weird after doing that. So we'll come back out here. Just make sure those are flowing nicely under there. Um, it looks like as well that at this point it actually goes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of these sections here and I'm going to hit Control E. 
and on the world I'm going to scale these in something like that something like that there and it's going to be a similar essence to what we have here um, although what's going to actually happen is these inner sections here are actually going to be much further in so something like that um, maybe these sections here maybe then start to come a little bit closer to kind of help form what we have for the beginnings of the headlights there or the grill section should I say I'm just going to pull these something like that and again when we smooth this off that should curve a lot nicer um, as we go around there as well so I think um, the last thing we'll do um, in the next episode I I'd like to maybe work on this area here so let's just get some structure in ready for that I'm just going to grab this and hold X and snap that to the center there um, let's just get some geometry in place here so um, looking on my references um, we can see we've got a few important areas um, inside here let's just grab this and just put that a bit further up there um, so this is a very key area to have this down here that's really the only main one and um, we'll probably get a couple more in here for structure so let's go for insert edge loop. I'm going to do just the one for now. And I'm going to draw, actually, yeah, yeah. I'm going to drop one just here and one just here. And then we'll maybe go for two nice evenly spaced ones over here. And what that will allow us to do um, is that will allow us to just give a little bit of curvature to this this portion here. I just want to make sure that's nice and neat. That's going to give us a little bit of curvature to that actual portion. Um, we can generally see in the top view if we're matching that. So it looks like maybe these ones here in our top view will maybe take in just a little bit this one here we'll pull out and here and then these ones are a little bit awkward because they're obviously a little close together for the next portion but if we can get them following that same kind of line that's pretty good and then what we'll also do is um, let's uh, insert edge loop again something this up um, I'm gonna go for two lower ones roughly the same kind of distance over here and here and then I'm going to drop two relative to each other again over here because what's going to happen is this geometry here is obviously going to link down here um, in some capacity so we'll kind of mirror the same idea we'll bring these ones out let's grab our vertex for a bit more ease do the same with both of these but obviously we want those to be nicely in line with each other as well. All right, guys, cool. So I think we'll stop there for today. We're starting to get that shape um, roughly around the front here. Um, in the next episode, what we'll do is we'll work through this area here. We'll start to build the kind of um, outline of that lower grill area. Um, we'll maybe then start to take this across the top and start to make the starts um, of the bonnet there or the hood. Um, I hope, oh yeah, so this is the actual demon hood on here, so that's good on, on these blueprints here. Um, so we'll maybe start to work along the top here, maybe start to go across the hood, and if we've got time as well, we'll start to run along here, but we can see we've got quite a lot of geometry there, so we'll need to come up with something quite creative um, when it comes to that um, portion for us. All right, guys, so as usual, um, uh, please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, thumbs down if you didn't. Um, please subscribe as well keep up to date with the project um, I'm just gonna take my time with it um, if you've got any other videos that you think you'd like me to do in between I've seen a few people have asking for like, animated cars and, and, and setting up render scenes and things like that um, once I've completed this car I'll probably cover those then um, so I'll go through rendering this car um, maybe go through some basic uh, rigging in Maya as well for that um, 
once um, I've actually made the car itself. Um, we did do an interior um, uh, tutorial before, but those files actually, I lost those when my computer um, died. So I could maybe start a new interior tutorial for this video as well. Um, if those things will interest you, please mention them in the comments because I'm only going to do them if people actually want to see them. Um, so list anything you want to see underneath. Um, but for this episode, we'll call it there. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later.